Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am making a search bar in React Native with a drop down. Basically, there are not many libraries in there doing that, so I thought of making a quick tutorial. Uh, I made a new project. You can name it anything you want. Like I did it something like I don't know what's the name. Okay, drop down search. Okay, then I ran it on iOS. You you just have to run the command React Native run iOS, and it shall be going ready to end it so i'm not gonna do it because it takes a lot of time on my machine so uh we go to our app.js file uh, there's some dummy code in there already uh, and we're gonna join our own hello world function because why not this is how we start everything right so uh i just made a view and returned the text that says hello world I did not realize it's on the top what a bummer so i had to give it some size uh, um now that your hello world is in place uh, we can start making our component uh, we'll start with the search bar first uh, i'm not using any third component because mostly make search bars ourselves in our organization and uh, mostly everywhere because it's highly customizable and stuff and uh, you don't have to install a third party library with uh, various other components you won't be using so making a search bar from scratch is a better option you can see i imported a text input that's gonna be our search bar basically i'm gonna style it the way i want my search bar to look okay i i just need to give it a background and i'm not good with the color codes and uh, memorizing current names of file and it's basically my other project where I'm just going to copy paste most of the colors from there. So that your colors are in place, uh, I gave it a very light gray color to the background. So, you know, it, it gives an effect that it, there's, there's something in there, but uh, that's, but not a very bold color. Uh, next, I made a separate file for our search bar uh, drop down. Um, it's basically to hold the logic of it in a separate file to not overload and over the previous file i mean i like to work in components so i made a separate component for that and uh, just a basic component and I returned a simple view from it to import it in our main screen now that i have imported the file i can use it uh, first i'm just gonna uh, put some comments for my medium article and then go ahead and use your component uh, i just use it uh, search by drop down and i'll have to further give it some probes but uh, first i'm gonna make the values to pass it to uh, i made a hook for a value and uh, to set it i just place a set value but you see i'm gonna change the labels very much like you can see change it once i'm gonna change it twice and twice and it's gonna go on because you know it wasn't prepared article so um, i'm just struggling with styles and names and uh, these things really bug me i'm i'm not very smooth with this so i made a, a hook and um, which hold the value if a user is searching or not i put the condition or our search bar drop down to display it only when the user is searching or it has some value or not uh, i made a, a on search function for it basically it's gonna call on text and put on change image so it's, it's basically gonna uh, set the searching value to the true uh, that means the user is searching right now uh, what it's gonna do i'll have to tell it to you later uh, but uh, i'm just gonna call it now. on change text image of the text input i call the on search function uh, i just had to change some styles uh, based on told you before i'm not good with the styles so uh, basically previously it was just to st get started and now i i want to give it uh, basically a very basic and nasty layout so uh, i'm gonna put it from the center to the top uh, now you can see me changing the names of the hooks again and over and over uh, because not so much about anything in life so in our search drop down i went ahead and added a text value uh, just to display it when the user enters some value and when user removes the value uh, it should remove uh, it should not display anything so i put in the condition for that uh, if the text input has some text then i set the searching hook to true uh, otherwise I set it to false because if you don't set it to false it would uh, don't remove the value you know basics I i'm not really explaining i think I'm trying my best. I just went ahead to the search drop down. Um, um, now most of the part we're gonna be in the screen. So uh, a basic line we have taken. 
you know how we do it a uh, background color gray to pink i give it some opacity of 0 0.2 uh, just to give it a blur or an overlay effect uh, but uh, i'm not certain if it's gonna be a good option uh, because I, I think it's, it's not gonna be a good option so uh, basic styling yet again i gave it to open bottom margins i give it an absolute views because we want an overlay on the previous content we don't want uh, it to cover the previous content or whatever is on screen right i put it in an absolute layout and uh, i put an other view in it but i i think i have to remove it yet again but um, uh, i'm just going with the flow right now uh, to this view I give some basic slides <laughs> I just keep saying basic styles and then a text component um, just to tell me the text for now uh, it's basically clean where's our where search component is gonna be uh, coming back to the home screen uh, in a text condition where user entered something we're uh, gonna filter our text or filter our list uh, the list is basically here business logic is here the other screen is only design so uh, i made a domain list uh, you can do whatever you want uh, i started putting names of fruits in then i don't know many fruit names because i'm not a healthy person so it's putting random ones in there and uh, now that our data list is ready uh, we're gonna make an another state and we're gonna name it filter it's basically gonna contain the, it's gonna contain the filter data uh, the one when user queries and uh, it contains the query data uh, and then go ahead and put your search logic uh, I just put a basic filter on it a filter on data source and put it on well look at that I only made the text to lowercase we have to make item to lowercase too because uh, we're gonna compare the two strings and they're gonna have to have the same case our search is not the case sensitive so I think that's your homework and uh, this is gonna store the resulted value to templates and then we're gonna push it to our filter list we have filtered the array and uh, we have the results. All the items related to the searched item will be filtered and stored in that array. Now we are going to come back to our component and pass it some probes. Uh, we are basically going to pass it the filtered array. Uh, that's what we want to display in our search results, right? So then we passed it to our component and uh, get it from the props. And now we have the data source from the prop and we can map it. Uh, we can map it on our search list. The data wasn't displaying so you now you'll see me running a quick debugging session. And uh, it turns out I oh, forgot a return statement. I added the return statement and added some uh, text files to it. Uh, because it still wasn't showing and then I rem remembered I had the opacity set to our parent view We don't need that. We don't need that view too. So I had to remove them both. I, I removed them I gave them some margins from the job to uh, separate the list from the search bar itself so uh, Now I'm gonna quickly add a view to our filter uh, searched components uh, basically it's not needed is upon your whatever your requirements are I am sure I'm sure hoping your uh, designer gave you something to copy it from because we devs are not good with the designing so uh, if you're gonna have to design it yourself you'll have design something like me uh, a personal design a very filthy design uh, that's not inappropriate if I'll say so uh, I just gave it quick training uh, to differentiate things to uh, you uh, to all of you. You can adjust it upon your requirements, obviously. Um, uh, you, uh, you can give the most, most of the things to the text itself, uh, but it's better if I uh, put it inside of you as a child. Uh, you know, it makes the styling much style and uh, and there, there are no limitations. Uh, our basic search is now complete. Uh, uh, now to show the uh, back um, some stuff on the parent screen to show that our search screen is basically an overlay uh, i'll just go to the parent screen and add some uh, components to its basic view so uh, when we search something uh, we can see the parent stuff through it um, uh, so th that was basically our goal right the uh, the search results are shown as an overlay on the previous content so i'll just quickly go ahead and make some components to like uh, display the uh, same data source i guess so let me quickly do that
purchase process basically uh, i made a function i'm mostly making in my every application it's basically to show random colors to um, view or a flat list and it's something so uh, when we are uh, just playing many blocks of a text or uh, a view um sometimes you want different colors for it so uh, i just i just we made a, a random color generator function and uh, i called it on every iteration of flat list so every iteration gets the uh, separate color here are the current results. Uh, so for tutorial, uh, it basically covers the whole screen. I forgot to give it a flex wrap, uh, but uh, I gave it later vibes, but I forgot to record it. But it's on my, uh, the code is on my GitHub, so you can just record from there and add the line, or you can simply just add the flex, flex wrap to wrap. I link my Medium article and my Git repo below in the description box. I hope I was a bit helpful, if not much. I hope to better at giving tutorials or something. You know what to do now, right?